All right, people, look, I know it's been a minute. I try my best to teach when I'm led. Look, let me tell y'all something. For people who keep despising you, they don't appreciate what you bring to the table, look, do what you need to do for you. We're talking about from co-workers, managers, your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your wife, your husband, your kids. Do what you need to do for you, meaning do enough to get whatever you need to get done. Do enough for what you can bring to the table and bag back, fall back. When you go way extra, you're basically hoping to please people. And they may seem like they're pleased, but at the same time, they find some type of shenanigan reason to talk about you. Like seriously, they still talk about you. They still degrade you. I've had people who've disrespected me, who show ungratefulness, and then next thing you know, they back in my face, ha ha he he They ha ha he he because they want something out of me. And they know that it's a possibility that they may not be able to get it because of how they treated me. You see what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all something. When you do what you need to do for you and stop doing extra for these people, they're going to know. They're going to sense your energy. They're going to know you're up to something. And they're going to go all the way out their way to manipulate you on changing your mind about whatever it is that you're deciding to do for you. Don't change your mind. Don't be manipulated by these demonic people who are, will who are willingly working for Satan. That's what Satan is out here to do. He's out here to destroy us. He's out here to manipulate us. Satan is out here to confuse our emotions. These people can treat you like crap, can talk about you, can dog you. And then next thing you know, they ha ha and he he and in your face. They want to do this for you. They No, BB, get back. I'm done. I'm finna do what I need to do for me. I'm going to do enough for this and then the other and I'm gone. They're going to talk about you either way it go. You can never satisfy a man. Just know that. I keep trying to remind y'all, keep doing what you need to do for God. You need to draw closer to God. You need to please God. That's what you need to be worrying about. God is going to show you favor. God is going to protect you. God is going to promise and give you the things that you pray for that he is willing to give you. You see what I'm saying, people? God don't go back on his word unless we go back on obeying him. That's it. We continue to obey God and live in obedience and live in reverence of God, showing that we love God and that we can respect God and that we can praise God. We got faith in God. We good. Whatever decision we make for ourselves amongst men, we don't care. Today, right now, people do not care about what your boss is talking about when they show ungratefulness towards you. Today, we, we're not caring about what our co-workers talking about. We're not caring about what our mother and father is talking about when they can be appreciative on how we're willing to look out for them and take care of them. We're not doing that no more. We're not taking care of grown kids who keep showing ungratefulness to us when we want when we want to look out for them and they stay with us and they don't want to pay bills. They they scratching their behind and watching Netflix. They get mad when we tell them to go out and get a job and all this shenanigans. No, we are done. Wipe your hands. Wipe Wipe your hands and pat yourself on the back and say, I'm tired of this. I need to do what I need to do for me. God, give me the strength. God, give me the power. And when you do what you do, they're going to sense your vibe. They're going to sense that you've gained this power about yourself. And here they come. They're going to want to suck it dry. They're going to want to steal your vibe. They're going to want to steal your energy. Before I leave, when you know someone is talking about you behind your back and you come around on the premises and they talked about you like a dog, they not going to speak to you. Let me tell you that right now. They not going to speak to you because they're guilty. They're guilty. Now, if you speak first, then they may speak. But if they're around the people who they was just talking to them, who they was just talking to them about you, if they're around them and you choose to speak, they're not going to speak because they got to prove loyalty to the attention. You see what I'm saying? They got to prove loyalty. So that's why I try to tell people out there from my last past videos. Do not speak first to people who you know you don't really deal with. You you know they shenanigan. You see what I'm saying? Do not speak first to them. 
they are shenanigan for a reason. You have to you have to stand up for yourself. You have to let these people know that you don't need them. You don't need their company. You see what I'm saying? And see, these the same people within a week later, they, hey, KK, hey, what's going on? I be like, like that. And then I go ahead on. One of the bosses, they'll shake my hand. Hey, hey, how you doing, KK? And I give them a bump or a dab. I don't shake your hand because I don't like you. I know you're wicked. I don't speak first because I don't like you. And I know you don't like me. We're going to keep it cordial. We're going to keep it at peace. And when you do that and they know you got control like that, they're going to hate you even more. But we're not here to give a damn about what people think of you. They cannot control you. As long as you keep allowing these people to control you, you're going to be drained. You're going to be walking around with a burden, an unnecessarily burden on you because of the next person who you cannot please even if you try your damnness. No, we are here to please God Almighty. Let go and let God and stand firm and take control back. God said he has given us the spirit of power, not fear. You better stand your ground, set that boundary in the hell with the next person. Let them talk, let them chew their teeth, let them grit, let them knit. Who cares? Let them plot, let them scheme. We have power and we're going to show them by standing firm and keep doing what we need to do. And that's what we're doing this morning, y'all. Shalom.